In this short video, we'll examine how to use the total function and the count function in Data Viewer reports. We'll begin by going to the Reports and Data Viewer. Here I'm going to use the Expenses and Ledger view, the specific view called Vendor Information Check Summary. I want to look back in the month of August for any checks posted in August, and then I want to be able to add up the total of all of those checks dollar amounts as well as the number of checks that were issued. So I'll set my date range here to be August 1st to August 31st and then click Create. When I click Create all fields will be chosen automatically so I'll go to the Choose Fields button and click my None selection that will remove them all and I'm just going to pick the vendor name, the check post date, the check number, and the check amount. And those are the only four things I need on this report. Once I've selected my fields, I can close the Choose Fields box. To sum up the total of all of the check amounts, you put your mouse down at the bottom in the bar below the column header and right click. You'll have the option here to click on Sum. Sum will add all of those numbers up. So we'll have a total here of $4,697.10. To count the number of checks, you can put your mouse below the other column next to it, for example, check number, right click, and use the option to count. When you click on count, this will count up the number of records that are listed here. So I can see I have 11 checks that were written in August for this total amount. At this point, I could export this data to another format such as Excel, or I could click on the print button just to print it out, and that would be this option right here and that's how that printout would look when I click the print button up at the top. And that's how you use the sum feature or the count feature for totaling columns in the data viewer. 